Hello and welcome you all in our online lecture series of 10th English. Today we are going to learn that 1.2 which is written beautiful story by Ruskin Bond that is the thief story. So let's learn. Friends, in this story Ruskin Bond introduced a two main characters that is the main character of the story Hari Singh and the second one is Ali. Here, Ruskin Bond started the story with a first person, that is, I was a thief. Here, the narrator of the story is that Hari Singh, who narrated his experience with Ali, how he had cheated him. There was a vast difference in the qualities of these both characters, Hari Singh and Ali. Hari Singh was a boy of 15 years and Ali was a man of 25 years. The narrator of the story Hari Singh of 15 years who was well experienced in this small age of how to cheat the people and he had a fairly handed person up to in that he cheated many people but Police was unable to catch him. That's why he described himself as fairly successful handed person. Here, once he saw Hari Singh when the wrestling match was going on in that crowd, he noticed the man. The man who was of 25 years, he was tall and lean fellow. By Hari Singh's observation, he was busy going. And most important thing that he was with Anil was kind and simple person. Kind and simple person who was a easy prey for him to cheat for his purpose. For in that case, Harrison used to do the one technique. First he used to do use the flattering word and communication with the person. Once he got a confidence with that person then he used to demand for to get another job in that person's house. Once he entered in the house, he used to observe all the things and after observation, whenever he used to get a chance to cheat the people, he used to rob the people and run away from that place. Harisi, which was not his original name, the man after each incident used to change his name. So he liked to Anil when he met first time. He as I told in the previous one that he used to make a flattery words to the person to bring nearness. To flatter a person it was a part of his plan. So he started with his skillful hands and technique to flatter Anil. So as he came close to him and he told that Hari Singh told Anil that he looked a bit of wrestler himself. By these words, he thought that he would get a success to flatter Ali. Then he replied, so that. Then the communication goes in between them. Immediately, Ali started to talk with him that a lot of things about the wrestlers who were grunting and lifting and throwing to each other. The match was going on. But after that, when Anil asked him what was his name, then he lied to Anil and he, he told his new name. Frequently, Hari Singh used to change his name because this technique would keep him away from the hands of police to catch him. So he lied and told Anil that his name was Hari Singh. After the discussion, nothing was there but to talk about wrestling and rest of other things. Then, when the wrestling was over, Anil started to walk on his way and he was on the spot. But as he wanted to enter in the Anil's house, so second technique he ran behind him and he demanded Anil to get a job in his house. Anil was a man of 25 years by the profession. He was a writer and he was a bachelor. So he had a much to do at his home. He had a single family himself only. When Harish Singh demanded for a 
job there at his home he clearly described his condition that he was unable to give him job the two reasons were there the first one there he hadn't a family in second one was there he didn't get a money in a monthly the reason was that as he was a writer when his article or his book used to publish in that case only used to get the money so he was unable to pay him so in that case he told that he was not able to keep him as a servant as his home still to be a servant wasn't the main aim of harisi he was insisting anil to keep him as a servant then anil inquired him whether he was able to cook in reply of that even though he didn't know how to cook that he told the second time lie to anil that he could cook better way so on that condition if he was able to cook on that condition anil accepted him or offered him job to come at his home there was agreement between anil and harisi anil was ready to keep him at his home on the condition if harisi would able to cook in exchange of that he would offer him food nothing more than that he accepted that agreement the reason was that his main purpose was not there to be a servant at anil's home his main reason was there to get a chance and to rob anil it was his main purpose to go at anil's home on that condition anil took her sing at his home which was over jamuna sweet shop both of them reached there as it was a condition that it was asked her sing to cook it it had been a terrible in a taste so he half of his meal he gave up and threw to the stray dogs and he suggested not to have it at the night he told harisi to sleep in a balcony but still that all these things he tolerated and harisi put himself in front of him with the most appealing smile so that he wanted to enter in the heart of that kind and simple man from this paragraph onwards the comparative study between these two character goes upwards the one character in the form of the anil who tries to well being and a development of harisi and another side harisi was a character who was in search of the chance when he would cheat anil in this there is a two contrast characters which were struggling against each other where the anil was full of the virtues and another side the harisi was full of the vices the two contrast characters are viewed beautifully by ruskin bot one side harisi was in search of the chance to rob anil but another side there was anil who tried to help all kind of possible for harisi as even though he didn't know how to cook and when he cooked it was a terrible bad to eat after some time anil came to harisi and patted on his head and gave the confidence to never to mind about such a things he taught him how to cook and he taught him how to write his name then he was going to teach him how to count the numbers even though harisi knew that by writing and counting means when anil was going to educate him it might bring a big change in his life but instead of that what our voices were only more dominating on his virtues were there that he was always in the chance to cheat anil there but another side the anil was there how much good possible for him he was trying to do for harisi harisi was quite happy to work for anil because there wasn't a much work for him no hari singh used to work for anil in two ways first as the condition according to their it was brought for him and he was brought at the home for to cook and second one to buy a day's supplies 
is the visitor problems and rest of other things, whatever the necessities were there to, uh, to bring the things from uh, supplies from the market, it was a second thing. What he has to do every day. Harsing was uh, quite happy to do the things there because there wasn't much work for him. In the early in the morning, he used to make a tea for both of them, and later, after being a fresh, he used to go in the market to bring uh, to buy a day's supply. After that, whatever that had to cook, the Anil used to cook and he used to teach how to cook. Naturally, that he used to contribute to all these things were well, then. So whenever Hari Singh used to go to buy the day's supply, he used to make a money there. Right? So every day he used to make a money of one rupees. Even though Anil knew that he was cheating him for one rupees every day, he didn't mind for that. Because he was simple and kind person. He was easy going. Now, all these qualities are because of the good qualities, all these virtues of Anil were misused by Hari Singh in this case. As Anil was a writer and he used to write a magazine. To write for the magazine and to earn the money, it was a very strange way to live the life. He made money by the fits and stars. He would borrow for one week, another week he would lend, and next week he would be worried for the next cheek. So it was going on like that. As soon as cheek used to come in his hands, so he used to be uh, go out of house and he used to be in a celebration mode. He would borrow one week would lend to the next week and again to next week he would be worrying about the next day. So it was really a strange way to live the life. When it used to arrive in his hand, he used to be extremely happy. He used to go out of station, celebrate it and after coming back again the same situation used to be there, how to run the family affairs. One day, Anil came at evening with holding a small bundle of money in his hand and he said that he sold one of his book to the publisher and he got money for that. And Harisim noticed that when he pushed the bundle of notes under the mattresses, naturally the thief inside was encouraged there. And he thought to go for his skillful hands on that night. And here is a turning point of the story. You know, one side, Anil was trying to make him a good man. He taught him how to cook. He taught him how to write his name. He taught him how to count. And he was going to teach him the long sentences so that a long sentences and counting would bring a big change in his life. Even though he knew that, but the thief which was inside in his mind and heart wasn't alone him to overcome with that. So here that all of the virtues were dominated by the vices of Hari Singh. There is a fine example by this story. It had been almost a one month where Hari Singh was out of his real business which was that to cheat the people. Except a cheating Anil to get a one rupees every day by daily supplies he could not do nothing more than that. One month he spent to learn how to cook, how to write, how to count and how to go for the big, to write big sentences which was not a real business for him. But as Anil imposed him and he was waiting for the right opportunity, now the day comes for the right opportunity. He saw that when Hari Singh saw Anil tuck the bundle of the notes under the mattress. According to him, Anil was the most trusting person he had ever seen in his life. <coughs> Anil gave him a bunch of the king so that Hari Singh could go and come according to him as he pleased. According to the experience of Hari Singh, he told about that it was very difficult to rob Anil like a careless person. Sometimes he didn't know that he was robbed. And that take all the pleasure of his work to cheat somebody else. It was a time when Hari Singh made his mind to cheat a uh, to rob Anil there. 
According to he, he was almost one month away from the practice, real practice what he used to do there. And he thought that suppose he would not walk to Anil, after all he was going to wastage of the money for his friends. So he thought to rob and run away from that house. After the dinner, Anil slept peacefully holding the bundle of the money under the mattresses. And as he was a careless man, he didn't love for money. A beam of moonlight stepped over balcony and uh, fell on bed. Hari Singh got up from the sleep and just observed the situation. And he was in a sleep. Almost it was a good time to rob him. He, as he was in the balcony, then he noticed the time it was almost a time where he could easily take the money, could run to the railway station and he could easily catch an uh, express to Lucknow at 10.30. In this picturization, there is a skin of a skin bone of two characters. In another side, Anil, the man who did love for a money that he slept peacefully without worrying about money as he had not any kind of the readiness about money. Another side where there was Hari Singh which was a friend of the voices had a bad intention in his mind when he got up he couldn't sleep to see the bundle of money there and he wanted to rob Anil by getting that bundle of money. Another side he lived there was a clear and happy pleasant place he slept there and another side when Hari Singh with the bad intention he got up, he was beat of restlessness, his heart was pumping, there was a sweat on his face, there were the scars on his face. So there is a beautiful picturization between the two characters when you are full of the voices, what situation you would face and when you are full of the virtues, how you would face the situation. There is a beautiful picturization by Ruskin Ball. Friends, up to here we learnt about the two characters how the story proceeds. Even though Anil gave him shelter, but in the reply of that, would he get a righteous cooperation by Hari Singh? Or Hari, Hari Singh would get a success, he is a fairly hand, or can consider the successful hands to cheat. Anil and he would go away from that place to keep himself one step ahead than the police. Or the, the virtues of the Anil would pull him back to be the good man. Or that Hari Singh would get another chance, an opportunity to find his next prey. Or the good deeds of Anil would bring the change in the life of Hari Singh. We'll see this all these things in second part.